We can now basically use any camera to capture facial animation for metahuman faces. We can even do this live without any post-processing and with incredible accuracy. Look at the lip sync, look at my facial performance transferred live and we can do this by using a Rococo head cam or even just your webcam. That's what I'm using right now. And in this video I'll show you how we can capture your performance live onto a metahuman and add a body animation on top. If you already have a metahuman in your project and you're just looking to set up the live link face, skip to here. If you want to see the full process, here we go. To be able to create a metahuman in your project, first make sure you have this downloaded. Click this arrow, options, and check this box, metahuman creator core data. Then click apply. Once that downloads, continue. I chose film and blank project file. Name it whatever you want and create. Go to edit, plugins, and search for metahuman and enable all of these that are related to metahumans and click on restart now to restart the engine. Once Unreal Engine opens, right click, go to metahuman and select metahuman character, name it whatever. Double click to get in and something pops up on the corner. Click on that enable missing when Unreal Engine lets you click on it. I'll choose a preset to make this process faster. Oh, another restart. Click restart now, save selected if it asks. And as you wait for Unreal Engine to reopen, I know what you must be thinking. How many times must I reset Unreal Engine to get one thing working? Ah! Yeah, probably a couple more restarts. No! Customize the character if you wish, then click on Download Texture Source. I chose 2K. Once it downloads, click on Create Full Rig. Wait for it to load. Once that finishes, go to Assemble. If you do not see that green assemble button, click on another tab and come back and that button should appear. Click assemble and wait for it to do its thing. A new folder should appear called metahuman. Get in there, then choose the folder. It's whatever you named your metahuman earlier. Drag and drop that blueprint into your level. Reset the position so it's right in the center of our scene. Now onto the fun bit. Go to tools and search for live and click on live link hub. Wait for it to open. Once it opens, click on add source and then choose metahuman video. Click on that. And then if you're using your webcam, it's just that. And subject name, you don't have to name it, click connect. Click on integrated camera. It seems to be working. If you want to see your video, click on input video, hello. And if you want to see the trackers and see how it's tracking your face, I'll leave you an input video. That's fine. For the head cam, we just have to change these settings. Instead of webcam, obviously select the head cam. Click connect, exactly like before. Select it on the right, drop down menu, input video. But we have an error because the video feed is sideways. Scroll down and under the image rotation, select 270. I also uncheck these since the head cam is fixed to my head. There is no relative head movement to track. Now back to Unreal Engine. Click on the metahuman. Under this drop down menu, live link subject, choose your camera and then live link, use AR kit. Now let's record some facial animation. Go to window and search for take recorder. This is the one, take recorder. Click on the metahuman and drag and drop it into here. Click on it again, right in there. And then you'll see that take recorder is recording a bunch of things under this, but we don't need all of them. So I'll just click this to uncheck everything. Click on body to get our face and body. They are connected, so we have to record them both to make sure everything is working. I'll uncheck the hairs to keep things simple. Now, if your viewport performance is struggling, you can go under here and then viewport scalability and choose low. And then under here, choose unlit. And this should help with the viewport performance at least a little bit. Give your take a name there. So I'll go with face mocap and keep that name in mind. Now click here to record your take. Give it three seconds. And the lip sync is actually surprisingly good. It's lagging when it's recording, but when you play it back, the lip sync is really good. But since the tutorial is gonna be in 30 frames per second, I'll just adjust this. And then let's record a second take. Three, two, one. And this is the second take with 30 frames per second animation. Yeah, this is good. Then you can click here or click the stop or space bar to stop recording. Now that we're done with the recording, I'll, I'll close the take recorder and we need a timeline to play our animation. Under content, I'll open a new folder for organization purposes called sequences and then level sequence right there and name it whatever you want. Sequence 10, go into it. Click on the blueprint metahuman, drag and drop it into our timeline. Delete metahuman control rig and face here. 
and go to selection mode. Now that we are done with the recording, I'll just reset these. Body plus animation and then face mocap. Now I got two takes. Now you would think the animation is this one with the face, but it's actually the one with the body. And when I play, this is our recording. Now, recording the face is completed, but if you want to add a body animation or body motion capture animation to the character, things can get a bit complicated. I spend hours trying to find the right order to do this so the body and the head doesn't get detached. It's quite simple if you know the steps. First, we'll begin by deleting this face animation because we have to add the body animation first. I recorded some body motion capture using Rokuko Smart Suit Pro 2, so I'll add that. You have to pick your animation length because we're going to be baking these keyframes. Your in and out points get baked, so adjust those first, then right click on the body. Uncheck this box that says Filter Asset by Skeleton, bake the control rig and select MetaHuman control rig and create. Give it a second and then the animation is baked to keyframes. Now we can delete this animation. To add the face animation, go to Body plus Animation, search for a face animation and this works. But if you want access to the face control rig, we'll delete the face animation. You have to duplicate the body, so there are two instances of it. Delete the control rig from the second one and add the face there instead. Now if it adds on the top, you can just cut it and paste it onto the second one. Pick your animation length or fit the entire animation into the in and out points. Right click, bake to control rig and face control board control rig and create. And now you have access to both the body and the face rig. And by clicking plus there and choosing additive, same thing with the face. Additive. And now on the additive layers, you can add keyframes and do corrections or adjustments to the animation. And look at that. We record our facial performance live, merge that with a body motion capture animation, and everything is working smoothly. I think MetaHuman Animator is still amazing. I used it in so many projects before, but there is always that processing time you have to wait. It slows down the flow of creativity, but this, being able to see your results immediately live on the screen and your expressions transferred to the character right there and the lip sync working. This is just crazy. And it's just with a webcam. You don't even need a Rococo head. It's, it's great to have this, but you can do it with a webcam. This is crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I'll see you soon.